Hello everyone, my name is Michael from the success team here at Clipfolio and today I'm going to walk you through creating a sales leaderboard using Salesforce and Excel data. Feel free to uh, follow along using our example data or you can bring in your own Salesforce data as well. I'm going to be showcasing a few different features uh, and I'm going to add in some gamification as well to show your top sales rep. Okay, so first things first, uh, once you have your dashboard created, you have my blank dashboard here, I'm going to go to add a clip. And then you're going to click on build a custom clip. And first things first is we want to bring in a layout grid and a layout grid component basically spaces out different components for us. So we're gonna add a few different components in this clip that you may or may want, may or not, may or may not want to use. Uh, in this case, we're gonna add three rows and only have a single column. And so first things first, we're gonna give this a nice big title. You can erase this title here. And so we're gonna drag in the label component and we'll call this sales leaderboard. Now we can click on the properties of this label and change some of the formatting. So let's center it. Let's make it a bit larger by changing the font size. And let's change the color as well to make it more visually appealing. Next, we're gonna add in a table component. We're gonna add it in our third row here. And now we wanna add in some data. So click on add a data source in the bottom left and create a new data source. Now, if you're working with Salesforce data, search for Salesforce, click on Salesforce connector, and then create a custom Salesforce data source. If you haven't logged in before, it will ask you to connect a new account. In this case, I've already authenticated my Salesforce credentials, so I'll click on continue. Now it's gonna ask us what data we wanna bring in from Salesforce. So right now, we're gonna leave things selected as is with SOQL as our option. I'm not gonna bring in a specific report. Our SOQL connector allows us to snap in different fields from Salesforce. So we'll leave this query mode on simple. You could write in your own advanced query if you're um, knowledgeable in SOQL. But for this, uh, we made it easier for you. So click on the field. We'll leave Salesforce object as account. Click on the select fields. We're gonna bring in our account name our MRR and our account rep's first name. So here we have the company name, the amount of MRR they're bringing in, and then your sales rep's first name. You can add a filter to this to select different date ranges. So if we click on this and then look up date of subscription start. We can bring in subscriptions that have started in the last 60 days, 90 days. Maybe we just want to bring in this month's data and then the dashboard will only bring in this month's data. Click on get data and then save this data source. For the example of this video, I, I can't show you this data. So we'll exit out of here. And we actually have an Excel data source 
with some example data in it. Now you can also, you'll find this in your account. So you could follow along uh, step by step as well using this live sales data. The second data source you want to add here is one that you create yourself in Excel and it's going to include the pictures of your account reps. So I already have this created and you're going to go, you need to go to Google or something to search for a image hosting service and to host some of uh, your account reps images online. And so we have this Excel file I created with the names of my account reps and their images that are accessible publicly online. So first things first is we're going to name each of our columns. First one, we're going to do sales rep. So click on properties, rename them column, we'll do revenue, revenue chart, and you'll see why I named it that in a minute, and then quantity. Now we'll want to add in our data. So for sales rep, we'll click on our sales rep column in our data source. We'll add in our revenue, select our revenue for this column as well, and then the quantity. Next, we're gonna do some grouping. So click on column one, and we'll want to group the sales rep name in order to group their different accounts and revenue together. So click on group. And you'll see we still have this sales rep row at the top here. So we want to right click and filter this out. Deselect everything, select sales rep and exclude this row. This removes every other first row as well. Now we have it looking a little bit better. Another thing you can do is change the number of rows that are displayed in your table at one given time. Right now, it's only displaying eight rows and we have a scroll bar, but we wanna display everyone. So we'll click on the table component in the left and show more rows. Now we're showing all the sales reps. Next, we wanna change our revenue chart into a different format. So if we click on revenue chart, deselect our automatically set the data format. And we're gonna change this to be a mini chart horizontal. This will add some visualization to your table. Another thing we can do is right click on this column and sort from highest to lowest. Now we have an idea of our top sales rep. Next, another thing you can do is filter this by the month. So right now we just have our entire sales revenue all at once. But in this particular data, we have a date column added as well. So if we only want the data for this month and you have all of your sales data, we can right click on the table component and add some hidden data. Now click in and add your date column to the hidden data and make sure that it's formatted properly. We need Clipfolio to interpret this as a date. Right now, your dates might be in a better looking format than this. This is Unix format. We just wanna make sure that 
it's formatted as a date time and the input format is set up correctly. If this was in any other format other than Unix, Clipfolio would pick this up as a date time automatically and do its best to insert the input format for you and detect that automatically. So you don't always need to do this. In this case, we're using Unix time seconds. Now we know and Clipfolio knows that this is a date. So we can right click on our hidden data and select filter. Click on our condition tab. And we wanna say filter unit to date month. And this will filter out all the data that isn't in the current month. Now we've got some more reasonable values here instead of including all of our data. Now you may want to add an indicator as an example. What we can do is click on our quantity column and then select indicators. And we want to highlight anyone who reaches over a hundred units sold. So click on add one now to add an indicator. And we want to say if the column quantity is greater than or equal to 100, change the background color to green. Next, what we can do is add some totals to our results as well. So click on the revenue. Uh, first, we want to actually change this revenue to be currency. It's just picking this up as a number currently. So change the formatting, change this to currency. And also in the properties, you'll see an option for results row. Change this to sum, and it will add the sum of all these values at the bottom here. We'll want to do the same thing for quantity. So click on the quantity column and add the results row for sum. Lastly, we want to add in our gamification. So this will highlight our top sales rep and put their picture at the top of the, the table. So click on the second row of our layout grid and drag in an image component. Now we're gonna use the lookup formula to highlight the top sales rep. Type in lookup, add our sales rep column by using the results reference. So type an and symbol, then click on sales rep and we want to match this with our sales rep name in our image data source so click on column a and then align this to our image links and this will add in the photo of the sales leader we can change this and change the size of this in the properties tab. So maybe we want the width to just be 400. And then we can center that as well. Since this is this month, maybe we want to specify that. And now we have a cool looking sales leaderboard for your team to compete and drive those sales numbers up. Let's save this. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more tips and tricks in our next video. Have a great one.